Hello and welcome. Today we've got a Makita 5 amp 18 volt battery here. Uh, it's shown absolutely no voltage whatsoever in the multimeter. So conventional wisdom would tell you that that is for the bin, that is for the recycling bin. However, I'm going to have a look at it to see if we can get in and get it going. I took the screws out of it already and I'm going to test if there's anything um, on these ends. Maybe the board's not carrying the voltage through, who knows. If we put the voltmeter on the actual board or bypass the board and just go to the, the pack, we get 2.52 volts. That's pretty, pretty bad. If we test individual banks of cells, we're not getting very much there now. 0.53 of a volt. 0.49 of a volt. I'm willing to bet these are about half a volt on them each, you know. Yeah. About half a volt each in every bank of cells. This is actually probably good news. I can actually probably bring up the voltage of this and get it going. Uh, what I'm going to do is connect it to this uh, balance charger. Amex balance charger. So that's connected to the positive and negative there. And we'll, we'll just set this here. Set the light bulb battery which is lithium ion. For this purpose and we set it to 5S which is 18.5 volts so we'll just uh, get out of charge here. Just checking the battery, same connection break. So you can through the board that's not working. We can try another way. We'll try directly onto the battery itself. I've attached to my magnets to the ends there so we'll see how this goes now. Low voltage. Right. The voltage is too low for the charger to bring it up. So what we're going to have to do is something I don't always recommend. And that is a little bit of jump starting. A little bit of jump starting in our life. So let's do this. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to monitor the voltage here. As we jump start it with this good battery. Um, yeah. There's uh, reasons why this is a bad idea. It heats up the cells, but you know, this battery has left us with no option, so. But we're monitoring the voltage, so we've been very safe about it. We've been very, um, cool about the whole thing, you know. So right here we go. Oh. No, the wires heating up. None transmitting through to the board anyway. Too well. See the voltage is just not coming up. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll measure it here. Forty fifteen there. That's a board failure too. Look at that. We got the we we'll got the pack up to fifteen, but the boards doing other things. I think we'll go back to the IMAX and put it on or now. Right, the IMAX back on. We'll try and charge her now. Not connection break. We'll see, try again. Now she's going now. We may have to replace the circuit board in this as well, because I think there's a board failure here. Right, so we have the voltage up now, so we'll just stop that. And I suspect 100% on a combo kill board failure from this thing. So coming through the pack, we got 17.34 volts. I'll just shut that off. 
and come through the board we got nothing 17.3 volts and the board is dropping the board is actually pulling the power from the, the cell so if I left that to the morning that would be dead so I'm just going to pull the board off I'm calling that fixed, so if you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up and check out the channel for all the other videos.